Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you the film type effects for the Photoshop XMP file and you can use that preset in your Lightroom as well. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and hope that all are in a home and maintaining all the rules and regulations from the WHO. So let's jump into the tutorial. At first, uh, I'll open up that photo which I downloaded from the freepeak.com and this one was the stock image and you can drag it and drop over here. You can get another layer of this photo and go to the filter camera filter. So camera filter is the plugins of the Photoshop. You know that if you are the user of the CS version, you have to install it manually. Please check out my video description for the download link of the manual camera plugins. And if you are the user of the CC version, it could be the CC 2014, 15 or 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, whatever it is, you can getting this camera filter in your filter gallery or filter options by default. From here, you are getting a load settings option, small menu from the small menu, you are getting here load settings options and click over here, you'll get a open window and uh, I'll provide you the film that is the example file and load it up yeah and you're getting at a time the like effects in your photo what i have done here let's see the settings here the temperature minus 4 tint minus 15 exposure plus 0.45 and contrast plus 52 highlights minus 100 shadow minus 2 and whites minus 14 and the dehaze that is plus 30 and the saturation that is minus 5 i didn't touch the vibrance the midtone and here the RGB tone curve, if you locked up over here, you are getting the input value 115 and the output value 114. And I added some grammar for that reason. I made this one little bit upper side in a left portion. And then let's see the red, red tone curve. I didn't touch that and green portion I didn't touch and blue portion I didn't touch. And after that, the detailing option, you are getting two part, the sharpening and noise reduction. From the sharpening panel i added 43 for the amount sharpening value and the radius to detail 46 and masking zero noise detection portion you are getting the value that is 39 and luminance detail that is 40 and color 25 color detail 50 and the color smoothness that is 50. let's go to the hsl panel hue saturation and luminance hue the color which you want to pick it up saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color hue value of the red you are getting plus 29 that's why you're getting the orange tone in a red types yellow hue that is minus 19 and the blue hue minus 33 saturation you're getting here minus 22 for the orange and the yellow minus 59 and i desaturated these things and the luminance that is the red intensity 23 and let's go to the split toning options the you know split toning is that things highlight color and the shadow color at a time you are getting over here the hue which is helping you out to pick the color from the color belt and the value is 95 and the saturation 15 and the shadow same things you are picking up the value of the color from hue panel and that is the value 353 and the saturation that is the percentage of the color which one you picked up from the hue portion and that is 13 no lens correction issues and here effects i didn't use the fx panel and calibration you are getting the primary colors but i didn't touch that things and hit the ok button you're getting before and after let's apply that xmp file in our lightroom i'm going to the lightroom and i'll import that photo which this type of photo and let's see the same effects uh, some of you are like to use the lightroom and some of you like to use the photoshop so from here i'll import the same photo like this i'm just importing two i imported two photo and now i'll develop that things this photo and this photo so this photo at first i'll apply the preset how to import the preset in this preset portion you're getting here import preset and then uh, which preset i made in uh, xmp file i'll import that things so it will import it and now if i find out the film uh, and uh, here 
here is the film if i go to the downside lots of preset uh, here actually so in this portion you are getting the film over here if you apply that things you are getting the same effect which you used in a photoshop and another photo if i uh, go to the film apply this thing you are getting the same things and all the setups is same and you can use that preset in your lightroom and photoshop as well so hope that it will be help you out more and if you want to get the download link of the xmp file please check out my video description and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification and amazing tutorial in this channel and stay at home stay safe and maintain all the prevention rules from the covid 19 until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye